Today on Film Right, we get some acting tips. Just the tips on acting. I'm not using that. You're using that. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes mystery out of the effects techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today we have the awesomely talented Todd Bruno here to drop some acting knowledge on our brains. If you don't know Todd, he's been in a bunch of our short films. I messed up, but that doesn't actually concern me. I could eat your hands. It was disappointingly easy to get you here. He's a graduate of the Neighborhood Playhouse. He's been in over 50 plays, three feature films, a ton of short films and commercials, and has taught and coached acting for over five years. But I'll stop delaying the knowledge. I would simply bid you adieu and say that when I return, I will be Todd Bruno. Wait, what? <laughs> when you're ready. Oh, th oh, that means that means go. You're not gonna. Am I? Sh I'm not shiny or anything, right? And that, that's okay back there. The what's, uh, what's okay? The bed sheet that's hanging that's behind. That's not me. a bed sheet. That's a green screen. All right, let's get into the episode. Apparently, I don't warrant a real set. <sighs> Now the thing started scrolling already. I don't even know what the. I mean, I can try and remember what it's. Uh... No, Todd, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. Just give me a second, for the love okay. of God. All right. <sighs> Told you, two tequilas is my limit. From the creative standpoint, the actor's job is behavior. The words are supplied by the writer, and the movements are assigned by the director. The way in which we say the lines and perform the movements—that's the actor's contribution to the film. My goal when I walk on set is to do everything in my power to help the director get the shot they want. That's the kind of attitude that makes people want to work with you again, and that means you have to leave the ego at home and realize that it's not about you, it's about the project. Your process or what you're going through to perform this role is no more important than what the gaffer, grips, and production designer are going through setting up the scene. With that in mind, here are my five acting tips, starting with tip number one. Know your lines. Seems simple and obvious, but directors complain about this all the time. Why can't they get their lines right? The writer has probably chosen each word carefully, and we owe them the respect of saying those words precisely. Memorize the words that are in the script. If you have a problem or want to change something, talk to the director beforehand about ideas or alternatives. As a side note, I recommend you memorize your lines by rote. That is, without any inflections or meaning, just the words. That way you leave yourself free to say them any number of different ways, depending on how the scene plays out. It also makes it easy to make adjustments when the director wants something different. I know it sounds silly, but I've seen it happen, where an actor has memorized a line a certain way, the director gives them an adjustment, and they suddenly can't remember their lines correctly. It's etched in their brain the way they memorized it. In order to keep that from happening, memorize by rote, and you won't end up looking like an amateur. Like Josh. Oh, hey, come on. What? That Man. was uncalled I'm just, for. I'm kidding. Oops. I'm kidding. Uh, no. Bubby, Bubby. Tip number two, manage your time on set. As actors, we can find ourselves waiting for hours while the crew sets up the next scene. Our job is to make sure we're prepared to perform when they're ready for us. This means when one scene is finished, you start preparing for the next scene. You should have already done your homework, so you have the specific choices you've made for where you are, your relationship to the other characters, what just happened before the scene starts, and what you're there to do. Now's the time to revisit those and start to get into the state of mind you need for the next scene. But don't go there 100% yet. Just get the fire smoldering and leave it alone. Like a little fire bundle you can carry around with you. It'll be there when they call for you on set. You can just add some oxygen and let the fire flame up. It's okay to be social on set, but take care of your fire bundle. Don't let it go out. What, Todd? Your fire bundle. Take care of your fire bundle. Why are, why are we talking about a fire bundle? Fire, it's an acting term, your fire bundle. Tip number three, fill every scene. This is a mistake I see a lot of actors make. They neglect the easy scenes. They think I'm just walking into an office, dropping off a file, no big deal, so they don't do the work and the scene falls flat. This drives directors crazy. Each scene is in there for a reason and it's our job to fill every moment, even the ones that seem meaningless. For example, the scene I was just talking about might look like this. Not terrible, right? Not special either. Just because you're not saying anything doesn't mean you have to be thinking about nothing as well, so let's fill it. In my head, I'll make the location specific, add some characters off camera, and think of somewhere I just came from. And we'll try it again. A little more interesting to watch, right? Just by adding some meaning behind your doing nothing adds a ton of life to your performance. But let's add a line of dialogue. Here's that file you wanted. Ugh, what was that? Let's fill that line with something. Maybe it's a top secret folder and I wasn't supposed to look at it, but I did anyway. Is that file you wanted? One of the things I love about acting is that the same piece of dialogue could be performed in tons of different ways. Maybe the folder is full of illegal stuff and now I'm an unwilling accomplice. Uh, is that file you wanted? Or maybe I'm trying to get a promotion. Here's that file you wanted.
You see how just doing something specific changes the moment completely and makes it much more interesting to watch. That's what separates the good actors from the bad. So don't have an empty performance, fill it. Now before we get to my other tips, Ryan has to pay some bills. I'll wait here. Can I get a drink or something? What are you looking at? No one else is in here. I thought maybe there'd be someone yeah, yeah, waiting you know, behind you know, the pe light. Yeah, why would I think that? I'm in front of a green sheet. Why would I expect it's anyone else? It's a green to... screen. <sighs> Who sleeps in there, Shrek? That doesn't even make any sense. Because he's green. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is a place to go when the next idea hits you. I know that you've heard me say the available domain extension list is growing like crazy, but you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brand in ways that was never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club, and to give you some love, and they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices when you use the coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. Is that it? Is it my turn now? Do I? You want me to... I'm just standing back here. I actually don't know. This has never happened before, so I'm not 100% sure. Should I just... I... I don't actually... I don't know. Well, that probably... But work. now you're just squatting. Now uh. it's awkward. <laughs> Logo. Jumping right back in with tip number four, continuity. Yes, I know it's a script supervisor's job, but keep in mind that scripty is an entire department of a film production, a department of one person who is tasked with about six jobs. So the more we actors can be on top of our own continuity, the happier everyone will be, and the better the chance that your best take will end up in the movie, rather than on the cutting room floor because of some stupid continuity issue. Let's take a look at a simple scene that involves taking a drink and saying a line. So I went to Publix. They're out of suppositories. Now we shoot the same scene from a different angle. So I went to Publix, and they're out of suppositories. And now when we cut them together, they'll look like this. So I went to Publix, and they're out of suppositories. It looks ridiculous and is unusable. The lesson here is keep track of your props, of when you sit, stand, walk, which way you turn, every movement you make during a scene, make sure you do it the same way, the same time, every take of every shot. If there are multiple moves or complicated blocking, write it in your script so you'll remember. And don't mess with your hair, your makeup, or your wardrobe in between shots. The scripty director and editor will love you for it. Tip number five, take direction. Look, we can't always guess what's in the director's head. We try to give them what they want, and many times a director will want you to make adjustments. And sometimes they're good at communicating what they want, and sometimes they're not so good at it. Sometimes we have to take what they say and translate it into something we can use to give them what they want. So don't be afraid to tell them that you don't understand and ask them to explain it a different way. And once you know what they want, you can convert it into something you can use. For example, if they want you to be more angry, don't try to be more angry. This will look forced and stupid. Instead, change the circumstances in your head to a situation that would make you angry. Make yourself believe that situation is real, then play the situation. The anger should come naturally. That's what it means to find the honesty or truth in a performance. So if you've ever heard that and were confused by it, there you go. All this, of course, will take some practice. By the way, did I mention that acting isn't easy? Simple, yes, but not easy. So now go figure that one out. Hope these tips help. Hit me up with any questions. Till then, I gotta go. Late for my colonoscopy. Really? You put that on there? Well, yeah, that's what you said. Yep. No, that's not what I... I didn't say that. That's what you said. That's where you were going. That's not what I said. It is exactly. I did not say that. You said, I, I, we can't go too late because I'll be late for my colonoscopy. That's what you said to me. So I don't know. Someone must have said that to you. It wasn't me because I don't have a colonoscopy. I don't have a colon. I don't even have a colon. I don't know why I would. Whatever. It's a green sheet. It's a green screen. Logo. And that's it for today. You can, of course, follow the Todd on the Twitters right here. And if you haven't seen, we are working on something cool for Bloodtober, so check out the notes below to find our social channels to see some of the behind the scenes pictures we've been posting there. And I'll see you guys next week when I use the red flower to defeat my enemy. So it, makes you, it also makes it easy to make adjustments when the director wants something different. Sorry, it's the first time I read that. That's why I <laughs> screw me up. Power to get. <laughs> but take care of your fire bundle, damn it. Even the seemingly meaningless. Whoa, there's a tongue teaser. It's okay to be social on set, just don't. One more time, real quick.